Okay, about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon on our Ontario map. And we have some crops that are ready to harvest. So we're finally going to get take a look at uh, the Gleaner Combine. Which we are going to uh, harvest the canola in field 10 there. We'll do the headlands ourselves just for the interest and then uh, see if Jeff can come over and take over from us. Of course, we'll, we'll run the, uh, the wagon to pick things up with. Empty him out. Bring it down to the silo here. Uh, in between times while we're waiting for him to fill up, I think we're probably going to uh, go the other yard and prepare for a silage harvest because those two fields we planted some time back are pretty close to being ready themselves well I wanted to disconnect not uh, jump on out of the combine I have not looked much at the Glinger Combine before. And yes, there is a reason why I use the Glinger Combine or like it uh, more so than the case of the New Holland. Uh, Glinger Combines made in Heston, Kansas, a few hours from where I grew up. A lot of people. Uh, use Gleaner Combines. More so when I was young, but you still see quite a few. Uh, back when I was young, the, the color was uh, silver over black. Not all black like this. In fact, I got a friend who's got uh, quite a yard full of uh, Gleaner Combines that are not running. You never know when you're going to need parts for the, the, the one you have that still is. But it's fun to go over to this place and uh, see all those. Yeah, we are not going to get a straw swath out of the canola crop. Still looking at some maps that uh, we might do a next series on. A little bit torn between uh, whether to continue this series and try to make the farm bigger here or start on a new farm map somewhere else. Don't know, I'll think about it. Or we could do a little bit of both. Uh, I'll continue to play single player on this map and maybe come back to it in a month or so see how uh, things are coming along while uh, we YouTube a different map might turn down our time on this so it doesn't get dark too quickly You never know with screen resolution how a nighttime uh, recording is going to go. Now, I still haven't been over to pick up the case loader over at uh, the store. You know, in fact, once Jeff gets started here, we might well go and do that. Instead of preparing the forage harvester. Ooh, I left a little spill over there on the left side, didn't I? Well, I'm sure Jeff can account for that. The 
looks like we're gonna have plenty of space for him to turn around. Yeah, there's not too many Gleaner Combine mods available for Farming Simulator 15. I found this one, I found some pretty good sized ones. Didn't really find the uh, the older models of Gleaner. Sort of a lack of older American equipment uh, altogether on the mod sites. I don't think I've seen an Alice Chalmers tractor either. Which I used to see once in a while when I was young. We have to come up with some new uh, short term goals for this map if we're going to keep playing it for a few more episodes. Maybe increase the cattle. <laughs> Still got to put that ramp in at the BGA. Might do a little more mowing as well. Alright, and Jeff is going to take over here. Another piece of equipment we haven't looked at too much on this series yet, the Kenworth semi-truck. And we are flatbed trailer. If we're going to go to the store, pick up our case loader. I've used the Kenworth quite a bit when I needed the semi truck. I did find a nice Mac uh, semi truck. Might use if we do another American map anytime soon. Oh, I gotta pick up some speed. I wanna make sure I jake break through town and then honk the horn. Say howdy to the folks in the village here. to the store. If you've never heard that sound, uh, when I slow down or take my uh, finger off the accelerator there, here we'll do it once here. We always call that jake breaking. Technically, it's called exhaust braking. Many places in Kansas, uh, towns, villages, prohibit you, if you're driving a truck, from jake braking through town like I just did. They're through uh, Massey. It can be annoying if you live in a, a village and uh, you have semis uh, making that noise all night long. Alright, there's our case loader. I believe X is going to drop our ramps. Yes! And that's a trailer for the forage harvester headers. Which I still haven't picked up. Yeah, here's a big case loader that I've been talking about through this series. I bet I parked that truck awkwardly to try to get the bucket on. Hmm. Let's see if we can do it.
Hey, there we go. And see if I can get it up on our flatbed truck trailer. That it coming off. Hey, pretty decent luck today with my driving. Said it a couple times before I use mainly keyboard. And I don't think we've been to the store yet. See the stores on the edge of town. See the rest of town there. I do like the nice yard here at the store. It's got this turnaround. That's plenty wide enough for this big Kenworth. We're going to go drop the case down at uh, BGA, pick up the telehandler that's been down there. Take it back to the yard. I think when we get down to BGA, we're going to go check on Jeff and see if he needs empty. One time when we come up here, I have to show you the the railway tunnel. That's kind of an interesting feature. It's like a stone arch railway tunnel. I thought it was pretty interesting, at least. Oh, a little too fast on that corner. I do not know how quickly Jeff's combine is going to fill up. It's got thir about a 13,000 liter capacity. But that trip into town to pick this up uh, took a little time, so we might be ready to unload already. Let's go have a look uh, at Jeff, see what he's doing. Only 45%, so we might be able to get this job done. Drop a ramp. Get into our big case loader. This is a 721F model if you're interested in those technical details like that. I'm kind of guessing that it is based on the standard game wheel loader. Alright, JCB. To lift your bucket a little bit. Line you up on the trailer. Hey, well, maybe a little more. Back into the tractor. Lift the ramps. And no, I do not believe I will be taking the uh, the shortcut across the river in the semi truck. Oh, look, a little bus stop there. Probably for the people that work at the BGA.
might be a little bit of excitement if we drove this Kenworth uh, down the hill, across that bridge, and up the other hill. speed so we can jake break through the village again. Hopefully there's nobody coming on the crossroads. back into the yard. Park here by the cattle shed. And grab our trailer. I think we'll give Jeff uh, an empty out here and then call it a video. As I recall from the last time, this trailer was kind of picky where it wanted the to be. Yeah, it wants to take it pretty close to the edge there. drove all the way to the edge. Jeff looks like he's getting on there. And we'll see you next time.